Hi everyone, it's Miracle, and welcome back to Minds of a Miracle. I'm so happy you guys decided to join me today. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different from what I normally do, okay? Usually I just come in with a look off the fly, but today I was inspired. I was inspired by a woman named Sky McLaughlin. McLaughlin. Somebody tell me how to phonetically pronounce her name. Her Instagram is Porcelainette. I'm going to... Uh, place this somewhere in here so you guys could go check her out yourselves. She incorporates this sort of living doll aspect and my my shadow self, if you would, <laughs> would strongly be inclined to um, be presented in this way. Unfortunately, uh, I, I don't have the time, the money, the effort. Anyway, so um, yeah, this, this video is going to be a voiceover. So um, I'll explain things that need to be explained in Parado like I normally do. But for right now, we'll hope for the best. Sorry for the crappy audio. Anyway, so I'm going to be using these two products here to create a nice, even, dewy glow. I'm using the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation and spreading that out thin so I can look easy, breezy, beautiful, and breathable. Okay, uh-huh. Okay, now I'm going to brush out these wayward eyebrows and I'm going to come in with the Icon palette by Absolute New York. I'm going to be using that shade of gray there to fill in these wayward eyebrows. I'm trying to create some depth. I have like five eyebrow hairs at the end of my eyebrows. They're very thin and sparse and I just want to create some semblance of control. Okay, I'm coming in with this CoverGirl eyebrow gel. I don't really like the brush, so I'm going to come in with another one and use a little spoolie at the end for precision. Um, that's the whole point of me using this gel now on top of the eyeshadow. Um, just because I want that finite little, you know, little hair designs. You guys, I want you guys to be like, girl, those eyebrows. How you get your eyebrows so thick? <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm using this Etude House cushion. Um, in the color sand of nice and bright. So I'm gonna brighten up underneath my eyes, get rid of my mustache and beard, and <laughs> come in on my forehead, and then just blend that out nice. Next, I'm coming in with this Lumi foundation. I think it's by L'Oreal, I can't be sure. I'm using a little tool to apply that underneath my brows to clean it up and get rid of those flyaways, and I'm using that brush to blend it out. As you can see, I applied a little bit underneath my eyes to brighten it up a little bit. I wanna make sure that I look extra bright and luminescent, you know? Um, and stay true to the whole cause of this look. Just gonna use the same old beauty blender and then just blend it out um, so it's you know completely cohesive. And then next, I'm coming in with the prism eyes. Here <laughs> we're getting the color in. I'm gonna add this fluorescent uh, teal blue. Um, I'm gonna name you know put all the color names at the base. I'm gonna come in with a darker blue and then just you know cut out my eye um, wherever the dents in my eye are. I'm using that naturally, and I'm gonna come in with the yellow in the innermost corner of my eye. Um, notice how I'm patting on top as opposed to sliding because I want the yellow to stay thick. Now, as you can see, this time I'm dragging the yellow against the blue and it creates a green. Um, so it's very important to pat and not glide if you want that yellow to stay true. Great. To be honest with you, eyeshadow makes better blush than anything, so I want to come in heavy with that, put that on the brush, and then just dust that over my cheeks, the apples of my cheeks. Make sure it pulls down deep, because as you can see with dolls in general, uh, they have that bright flush. It's almost childlike, you know? Okay, my guys, so I'm going to take that color and dust it over the tip of my nose, make it extra bright and loud, almost like I'm sick, like I'm about to sneeze in your face, fam. And then I'm going to take that color and drag it into the hairline, even though um, it's supposed to be loud and bright and extra, you know, stand out and stuff. You want to make sure that it has some semblance of naturalness. Um, so that's why I took this lighter shade of pink and then dusted it over the cheekbones to allow some transitional tones. Taking this Too Faced bronzer, I'm going to just create a nice little shadow. I want to cut into my cheekbones using this natural hue, um, and then later on I'm going to make it a little less natural, you'll see soon. I'm 
using that profusions palette again i'm mixing in the two blues to cut into my cheek i want to tie in the cheeks with the eyes um, and make sure that there's cohesion all throughout this look when i tell you that this is the best highlighter in the world i mean it okay make sure you get it get it it's made by etude house anyway i'm going to be using that same dusty brusty butt brush and then i'm going to dust that over my nose on my cheekbones anywhere that i find it necessary i want to make sure that you guys can see me all the way from the ends of this Okay, so I'm coming back in with that Etude House cushion and the color sand. I'm using this brush to just fan it out over my lips um, just to create some nice, you know, base for when I actually put any lip products on. I want to lay it on nice and heavy um, and then make sure that I allow it to moisturize these crusty crust lips, okay? Using this Too Faced palette again, I'm taking that same shade of pink that I use for my blush and then just dusting that on my lips. Um, again, making sure that it does not have to be neat, fan it out. Using now the Profusions um, eyeshadow, I'm using that nice yellow to dust in random highlight points. Now this is really not really for the pigment more than it is just to track where I want other colors. Um, everything here is being used as a transitional tone and you'll see why in a second. I'm using the lightest shade of pink in this palette right now to create more transitional tones. Um, I want to make sure that there is a transitional point from skin, um, a questionable area, and then there's lip. I overdid it, so I'm cleaning that up with a bit of concealer, and then I'm going to blend that out so that it just looks, you know, pouty and <laughs> desirable. So using this Profusions eyeshadow, again, I'm using this red tone as a marker. It's just a transitional color. I know I'm probably overdoing it to you guys, but it's going to make sense because I was really proud of this lip look when I was finished. Um, using this Kaja Beauty palette, it's the bento box. I'm using the lightest tone just for highlights over the lip. Um, I want to blend that out all over and then you can see this is when the lip starts coming together. Now I'm using this Etude House lip tint where I placed that red. That, you see the marker came into play. I'm just going to pat that out and then I'm going to actually come in with a secondary lip tint. This one is the red bean red. Um, and then I'm going to transition that into the light pink that we had before. Yes, yeah, see, it came together. <laughs> I did things for reasons, okay? Um, and then you see it's kind of getting really pouty. I would allow the lip tint to dry a little bit, and I will be applying these RF Beauty lashes. I think this is in um, the type, the lash called Lick Off. Um, one thing I will say about this eyelash glue. I'm going to list the name of it. Just be very careful when using it. It dries black. I bought this so that I wouldn't have to worry about eyeliner when I applied lashes. However, because it dries black and it applies on black, <laughs> if you put it on wrong the first time, it will create this nasty line and thankfully that did not happen in this case. I'm going to finish this out really quickly for you. So I'm using this Pixie Mascara to just dust out any residual eyeshadow that fell on my lower lashes. Next, I'm using this Profusion palette, the dark shade of blue, and using this Precision brush. I'm going to strike out three lines, two in the middle indentation of my lower lip, and then mash my lips together in order to fan out that color. Now I'm using this nice yellow to fan over my upper lip strike a line through my lower lip to create some highlight and any residual products i'm going to dust that over my cheekbones for extra glow now i'm going to finish this off get dressed get my hair done and show you the final look okay my loves and this is the final look <laughs> so hi guys guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did let me know in the comment section below let me know if the eyes are your favorite thing the hair the nothing let me know if you're just like girl you need to do better okay i really hope that i did sky uh, some justice because i don't know guys her makeup skills are phenomenal and i being a novice i just want to get to that level one day so um you know here we growing 
Um, and what else? What else? What else? Guys, friend me on the media of the socializing. Instagram is precarious underscore mind. Snapchat is xmira dot mira x. Any sort of business inquiries, you can reach me at miracleandhermind at gmail.com. And if you just want to say hey, let me know. Just email me, okay, fam? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> let me know if there's anything you want me to try to attempt to do. Uh, like D DM me a look that you have found, whether it be on Pinterest or Instagram or whatever, and I'll try to replicate it because I like having fun. If you give me ample notice, I'll even, you know, order certain hairs and stuff and just give you a little product review. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you guys so, so much, and thank you for your continual support, and I hope to see you next time. Okay, I love you. Bye.